you cheap, cheap people. I know you. You clicked on oh, free stuff to get. Uh, let's click on that and see if I want free stuff. Who wouldn't want free stuff? So, what happened? Uh, I recently uh, checked out Axiom and uh, Accufiend and Reguitar from Blue Cat Audio from France. And they make some pretty good stuff. Uh, Axiom is kind of the all-around everything pedals, pre, post, amps, caps, everything, guitar solution, without being your typical, here's an amp, here's a cap. They kind of treat it differently with here's a pre and the thing, and then the cap is also ampy like but then uh, you got to check it out. It's some good stuff, and you can get some great tones, especially the insane delays and reverb from late replies is crazy. And we're going to look at that in detail at some later date. That's on the list. Uh, now we're going to look at cheap stuff. So cheap, you don't even have to pay for it, which in the times of the Rona, when some of us are still trapped at home and uh, we're not trapped, we are socially conscious, socially distancing, doing the right thing to protect us and everyone else. They have this for every system. So uh, let me read. There's uh, Mac, AAX, uh, AUs, or so audio units, VST, VST3, and for window, AAX, VST, VST3, uh, Win64, AAX, VST, and VST3. Anything you need, it's there. So what do they have in the package? We're going to look at the chorus, the flanger, the phaser, which comes in mono and stereo. Those are easy to understand. Put them on a track for vocals, drums, synth, guitars, whatever. Of course, we're going to look at guitar. Then there's the free amp, which is three simple amps, like a clean, a mid gainy, Marshall-y, and a high gainy. We're going to check those out. Then for more of the uh, mixing engineer, there's the frequency analyst, which is actually really cool, super simple, straightforward. If you want to find out where's the problem frequency, see it, nail it, fix it. And then there's the gain suite, which is kind of cool. It's just a volume knob, plus or minus, but you can chain them together on different channels. And that's actually probably pretty helpful depending on whether your DAW has that or not. And then there's the triple EQ, which is a low and high shelf with mids, straightforward, but free. And now we're going to go to me on the green screen. Checking it all out. And here we are. So let's take a look at stuff. Um, I have Cubase open and I'm recording in real time. There's my mixer. And on the input, I put the free amp. I've done it on the input so that everything I do gets recorded, every change. Um, but you can, of course, record a DI signal and then put it on later. And then in the mix, you have your choices. I kind of prefer to make my choice beforehand and then stick with it. Uh, it teaches you to, you know, dial in the right sound. But of course, nowadays, you can do this all later. So let's start with the amp and that we're going to keep that. Uh, I have this uh, FGN guitar here, which is an FGN. That's all uh, FGN something. Um, and here we go. So I called this up. It's called Blue Cat Audio Free Amp. If you download the whole um, suite or just that separately, it's up to you. And that's what it sounds like. You can't change cab or anything. You just call up um, either the clean, the British, or the high gain, and there's your sound. We're going to you know, just check out a couple of presets. So you can go up here, go to a couple of presets, we're going to go dirty on the clean. Got to be careful with the volume here. It's a really cool clean. How dirty can I get that? Not super. Um, glassy, okay. Be great with some reverb, but that's not included. If I call, I call up Axiom, which you can get all these sounds in Axiom, there's of course reverb and beautiful things, but uh, that's it's pretty good. It's pretty good for you know that kind of stuff. That's loud now. 
I have about seven milliseconds input latency, some output latency. It's not immediate, which is why I don't necessarily like to play through software. But if I was gonna go mobile or I don't have anything else, kick ass sounds. <laughs> That's pretty damn good for classic rhythms. There's a lead. That's way too loud. That's pretty neat. And then there's, of course, high gainy ones. Too loud! You want the rhythm. Hey, that shit's free. We're gonna go back to the clean comp here. Let's look at, I type in blue, and we're gonna look at the chorus in stereo. There's a mono and stereo version. Here we go. You can say how much stereo spread you have. Speed. For a crazy shit, but obviously there are uh, just presets. Harmonizer. Ah, because the chorus is a pitchy thing and then they go crazy with the depth. That's kind of cool. Way nice, but we need to move on. I type in blue. Falanger. Here's a falanger. You hear that better with some drive, so we're gonna go to... Hey, come on! The drive, gonna get the volume down here. Now you're wondering how does it sound behind it? Well, you just go and pull it behind it, and you're good.
killer. Stupid. But why not? Light trim. Okay, it's a free Falanger. Gonna go back to the thingy, put that before, and go to the phaser. I typed blue wrong. Um, here's the phaser in stereo, and it does a nice job. Wait, that shouldn't be behind me, that should be next to me. Works. Moving on. Um, gonna leave this clean amp. We're gonna go to some uh, cool stuff. Here's the frequency analyst. So right now I've got it before the amp, so it's only analyzing my guitar that's coming in. I'm playing a note, and you can clearly see where the peaks are. Going up, you will see. Oh no! Actually, you can't see that. So if I'm going up, you will see it's fundamental move up. You want to zoom in on that? Let's zoom in on that. So you can see the fundamental, then the octave, then a fifth, then an octave. It's the, you know, harmonic series. So if your signal is unbalanced and you have, up here you can, by the way, make it smaller again, very simple interface. If you have um, some, some frequency where you go like, that's just not nice, this can help you isolate it because you look at it, ooh, which one really pokes out in my mix? You can, of course, apply that to the stereo, to the drum, to anything. I'm just showing you on guitar right now. It's a free analyzer. I might have heard a cat come in. It's not blue, it's just annoying if it's the cat that I'm thinking of. It's a cool tool and it's free. You can, of course, isolate left and right channel, all that stuff. Um, what else do we have in the free pack? There's quite a bit of stuff in there. You have to be able to type in blue, by the way, <laughs> which I apparently can't. Um, let's go to the gain. That's actually cool. We're going to do gain stereo. Oh, I, I can do gain dual. Okay. So we got, why do I do this? We got dual gain knobs here for my stereo input. <laughs> And of course, I've got a fader well, behind me down here, which you can't see. There's a fader behind the chair. Um, but on the input, I'm now able to independently uh, change the gain. And even with mid-side processing, mid-side processing, mid-side processing, if you wanted that. But... Why, why do I need that? Well, you could actually insert that anywhere in your chain, behind certain things, between a, 
amp and an effect or an effect and an effect, but even cooler, you can go ahead and put this, let's say, on your, I don't know, drum group. We're gonna punch in blue again, and I'm gonna call up a mono one. If you have stereo ones or mono ones or dual stereo ones, you can group them together. So I have two stereo ones now, and I group them in the A group. And now you can see if I'm moving one, it's moving the other. So that's a super easy way to just have uh, linked controls. I can do this in Qubit with VCA groups and um, uh, group channels. Uh, actually, VCA groups is probably the way that you would do that. But this is a super easy way to go around the capabilities of your software if your software doesn't have that. Totally cool. And you could even go reverse. So if I pull this one up, the other one goes down which a VCA group wouldn't give you. And that is amazing. So I'm having this on my guitar solo and my rhythm guitars. As I pull up the guitar solo, the rhythm gu guitars go down. Or I could have this on my vocal. As I call up, uh, pull up the vocal, my acoustic guitar goes down. I pull, up the, uh, pull down the vocal again, my acoustic guitar goes up again. So I'm getting them out of each other's way. A super cool tool and it's free. Blue Cat Audio's gain. So we've covered the three modulations. Chorus, flanger, and phaser. We've covered the gain, which is free. We've covered the amps. We've covered the frequency analyst. Leaves us with the EQ. We're going to call that up in stereo. I'm going to put that behind the amp in this case. It's a very simple EQ uh, with high and low shelf and a semi-parametric mid. Actually, parametric mid. Can get the low end down, can get the high end up. It's a free, simple EQ. More voxy. And of course, there's presets. You can zoom in and all this. It's a simple EQ, but effective. And that's it. That's a free suite of plugins uh, from Blue Cat Audio. Some primarily for guitar. I think the frequency analyzer is great. The gain is a, is a great tool if your software doesn't have that built in. And then you have... Uh, the EQ, which is a simple EQ, but you know what, sometimes that's all you need, and depending on what your software capabilities are, you might need that. Why am I trying to convince you? It's fucking free! So, download it now at bluecataudio.com, I think it is. Um, you go here, bluecataudio.com, and then you go to products, all software, at the bottom, how do I show you this? I'm sitting in the way. At the bottom, it says freeware. We like free. And then there are all these individual ones. And you can download them individually if you wanted that. But why would you do that? Just go to the freeware plugin bundle right there. And I had to look like, where do you download them? Ah, oh, up here, download. Pick the version that you like. You're done. Putting a link below. Use my Toman links if you care because I get, you know, commissions and stuff. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to. All the good stuff that you need to do to support your content creators. You know what you do. Uh, buy the shirts at Teespring, all that stuff. Not this one. This is Mr. Google link below. I don't get money from that, but you get percentages off. And um, you would get uh, all the money off of the Blue Cat stuff because it's fucking free! And uh, oh yeah, I did get paid for this video because uh, that wasn't free to them. Uh, it's my time, goddammit! But it's also service to you, so I gave him a deal. Um, and we're going to put some animals at the end, as always. Cheerio! Time flying by 
Thoughts are trapped inside a black hole No sleep tonight Rest till everything is sat in stone So I won't stop trying till 